What is up guys, Baron from Baron Gaming here, bringing back another video. My cold is finally gone, and I've been playing MKX for a while, so that's two good things. So I don't sound like a frog, and hopefully I don't suck super bad while playing MKX. So yeah, uh, I don't even know, man. With like the delay in videos and stuff, and I look constantly at the subscribers, and I see I get more and more and more. You know, like... I can't even explain what that feels like. It's like, I think I let you guys down a lot, and then instead of you guys being rightfully mad, which you have every right to be, you guys still show your love and support, so it's like, dang, I can't just keep letting you guys down. So I'm gonna pump out some videos today. Let's start with MKX. Someone asked me if I could do a Kenchi tutorial. I will work on that. I might be able to get it done relatively soon, but I don't feel like I'm that great with Kenchi, to be honest. That's why I keep giving him my, uh, my best. Keep giving him, uh, keep giving him some effort, keep trying with him. Uh, I can't really think of a whole lot of things Kenchi's bad at. It's just he takes a lot of time to learn. Just like with every character, so. Don't be stressed if you don't, you know, don't do amazing with Kenchi at first. I was pretty bad with him to begin with. Oh, okay, right. Oh man, that's gonna do some damage. Oh my god! <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> this guy's mad, he's gonna call me like a scrub or something. Oh, whoa, the delay. Let's see how horrendous this hitbox is. This guy thought he was the only one with the teleport. Good game, mate. Uh, I was definitely afraid of the wake up, the wake up armor, but Tempest doesn't have the wake up cyclone armor anymore, does it? He still has a really good cyclone, it's just not armored, I believe. Uh, that's another thing. Uh, I don't think Kenchi was all that strong in the other versions of MKX, but with the huge balance update, I think he kind of fits more in to where he should be. And my advice to you guys, if you're picking up Kenchi or you played Kenchi in the past, I would say Balanced and Kenjutsu are kind of obsolete, and that could be a lack of knowledge on my part on how to play them, but Possessed, I feel, really fits the meta right now. Uh, Balanced no longer has a great armored wake-up to get people off of them. And then on top of that, uh, I'm gonna play Sun God, actually. I like him a lot from the patch. Haven't played Kotal for a while, for you guys. Anyway. You know, uh, Balanced is still good at zoning, it's better than Possessed, but if people get out on you with Balanced, you have way more of a hard time getting them off of you. Kenjutsu, I feel, has a similar problem. He has some good armor, but then again, uh, you know, Possessed gives you more, I think, control over the whole map. And I think even Possessed is one of the best variations to be up close. I mean, I would say Kenjutsu might have a slight edge, but... Round one, five. Overall, it's kind of who you guys feel more comfortable with. I forget what Kotal got changed on, but... Doesn't seem like too much right now. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't even that good of a combo. This guy just takes a lot of damage. There we go. Guy finally threw the grab in there. Okay.
Oh man, I suck. Can't do a single good combo with Kotokan right now. Oh. Oh. Well, that was just horrendous in every way, shape, and form, so. I apologize, guys. I'll work with Sun God a little bit. I just haven't played Kotal Khan in forever, man. Like, Sun God got buffed in his command grab by a lot, and I just barely used it. It's weird. I think I'm still a Blood God. <laughs> Kotal Khan. And then, of course, Kenji. Kind of, you know, took a lot of my attention. And then, of course, Takeda. And Scorpion, I feel like I can still play them relatively well. Tremor is another character I've been dabbling with. But overall, guys, if you want me to do a Kenshi tutorial, I'd be more than happy to do it. I'm going to actually try to do it in a little bit. Uh, I don't know when this video will go up, so I can't say, like, I'll do it later today or something, because you guys don't know when I'm recording this. But, you know. Do my best. Let me see. Do I want to play Tremor? I kind of do. Because I feel like he's still good. Uh... We could also play Kenji, of course. You know, let's let's go with Takeda. See if he's still as good as I remember. I mean, the way I've been going right now, Kenji might very well be my main. It's just weird because I feel like he just fits in so well to how the game's adapted. Just like Smoke from Triborg and Sector, they have really fit in well. Not maybe because they were buffed per se, because everyone else got adjusted. So it's kind of neat. Like you said you see a lot more characters you didn't really see earlier. Wow, I can't believe I converted that into a flawless. Round two. Fight. Oh. This guy likes his grabs. That's cool. Ah. Why am I saying it like that? Oh! Dang it, I know I'm hitting buttons to get out of it, but it's the wrong buttons. Get grabbed. Yeah, basically the only thing I've noticed with Takeda is he eats more meter. You have to use it more, like, if you want to do more damage. He's not he's not as free with damage as he was before. It's really now come down to, do you want to have more safety on your side or more damage on your side? And it's kind of tough sometimes. So Takeda, I think, got the appropriate changes. Uh, I think his overheads are a little bit slower, too. I mean, they were pretty fast. Let's not Let's not deny that. So with Aaron Blacks, his overheads were insanely fast, they were adjusted, Triborgs adjusted. So like I said, I feel like MKX is kind of really now is the time to get into it if you guys were curious about it. But you know, if MKX is not for everyone, if you guys don't like it, that's cool. You can always just watch me play it. And then tell me I'm no good and I'm a bad human and I'll be like, mm. Anyway, let's keep playing Kenshi for the rest of the video. And then, like I said, I'll try really hard to make a tutorial on him. I, like I said, I'm not a... I don't think I'm that good of a Kenshi player, let's be honest. I'm gonna rock the gold and silver Kenshi. It's glorious looking. And no one gives enough credit. One thing I do adore about Kenshi in this game is his personality really did change. He's a lot more, like, cocky and stuff. He's funny. 
I like a lot of the characters in this game. I think that's one reason I always come back to MK is I've always kind of liked the lore and the characters. Oh. I can't believe that converted. Oh, jeez. This guy's just gonna do nothing but jump ins. The floor is lava to this man. Well. I just did like, was it two anti airs? Three? And the guy's is still gonna jump in the whole time. Why does everyone let go of block at that moment? I mean, I know it's really unsafe of me, but I find it funny. Fatality. Your jump ins <laughs> didn't save you that time, man. You shall live <laughs> wins. That's silly. Can't win with jump ins, just concede. I jump in a little bit with Kenshi. I think I do a lot more running back ones to overhead and stuff like that. I don't do a ton of jump ins. I do it a lot if I'm doing my teleport pressure, which I'll show you guys in this match if I get the chance. But come on, concede instantly just because you can't jump in enough? That's just, that's just silly. <laughs> Why do people like that? It's like pattern players when they only have one way of playing, and if you deny that way of playing, they feel like they can't possibly win. You know, God forbid you adapt once in a while. Weird. Weird people. Tremor. Kenshi. This is interesting, because I like Tremor a lot. And uh, if this guy is good with Tremor, I might be able to learn something new. You know, that's the thing. A lot of people take MKX very seriously, and it's a pride thing. I think in the fighting game community in general, it's a big pride thing. Not wanting to lose. But, I mean, to be honest, sometimes a guy's just better than you that day, or that round, or... Oh. I can't believe that guy didn't block that. <laughs> that was weird, man. <laughs> he ran full on into that one. Oh man. Wow! That was so close, man.
That's spacing. I couldn't hear him. I think he's raging. He might not be. That's another thing, guys. Spacing. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but I've been working on it a little bit, and I think it paid off right there. So we've won with everyone. That's 5-0. Let's see if I can do one more match. Maybe with Sun God or Takeda. I wasn't really happy with either of them. Takeda still has his Kunai Trap, which I'm happy about. Uh, it's not as... It doesn't really lock people as well as it used to, so... Make sure if you guys are picking up Takeda, you know that. People can get out of it a little bit easier. And to be fair, that's good, because Takeda was starting to kind of dominate a lot of people with that. So I want him to be balanced, but I want him to be strong, I guess is the thing. And let me see. Raiden's also pretty good. I think he stepped up a little bit. And maybe I want to play Displacer a little bit. Oh dear. We'll see if the uh, lag cleared up just a little bit. I've only had like two lagging matches today, so that's not bad. And I think I w lost one to Alien. And it was like literally as close as you could get, so I wasn't too upset about it. Alright. I swear, man, like 85% of people just let go of block. Grab. Ooh. I need to wake up at one point. Can't she also build meter fast? Because he uses a special at the end of almost every string. I don't like this weird Power Ranger looking outfit for Kenji though. Oh, that was weird. <laughs> Why'd he do a random x-ray all the way at the end of the map? I guess he thought I was going to charge in. That's funny, man. <laughs> and then just jump into brutality. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys, that's it for this video. That was funny. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you still enjoy Kenchi and me playing uh, MKX. I don't know why I refer to Kenchi like he's a person, but you know, whatever. It's good, it's good. Thanks for watching, guys. I do appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace.